in these questions we are going to be using our calculators to work out the answers to some questions so on your calculators you should be able to find these buttons so we've got a fraction button which looks something like this so when we're typing a fraction into our calculator we're going to be using this button we also want the square root button which looks something like this and if it's a cube root or a fourth root or a fifth root there's a different button which is usually um, usually you have to press shift to get to it so see if you can find this one it might be in small text above the button and we will also use the s to d button that converts an answer between a usually a fraction and a decimal so if you can find all of these buttons they are the ones we are going to be using in these questions so the first question the square root of 2.56 over 4 so we'll start by pressing the fraction button now on the top for the numerator we want the square root of 2.56 so press the square root button and then inside the root write 2.56 we then want to click down to the bottom line so you might have to click sideways first and then down and then in the bottom line for the denominator we want 4 so press equals and we get 2 fifths so we could write 2 fifths for this answer or if we want it as a decimal press the s to d button and it's 0 0.4 so the s to d button converts it from a fraction to a decimal for the second one you can see that the square root is over the whole of the fraction so for this time we want to press the square root button first and then inside the square root press the fraction button and then we just type 2.56 on the top click down 4 on the bottom press equals we've got 4 fifths or 0 0.8 so that's 4 fifths or 0 0.8 for the next one we're doing a cube root so to get a cube root you could use the any root button you might also have a cube root button on your calculator but I'm going to use the any root button so that's the one that looks like this so I've got shift and then X to the blank power so it's a cube root so I'm going to type 3 in the first box then click across to go inside the square root and write 3.375 so I've got 3 over 2 or if I change that to a decimal 1.5 okay there are three questions for you to try here so give these ones a go now So for the first one, I'm going to press fraction button first. Then on the top line, square root of 5.76. Then I'm going to click across, then down. And on the bottom line, I've got a 10. So I've got 6 25ths, or as a decimal, 0 0.24. So 6 over 25, or 0 0.24. For the second one, the whole of the fraction is in the square root. So square root first, then fraction, 3.24, click down, over 81. So it's one fifth or 0 0.2. And the third one, it's a cube root. So we can use our any root button. 
three in the first box and we've got 9.261 inside the root and that's 21 over 10 or as a decimal 2.1. In this set of questions, we are looking at powers. So on your calculator, there should be a button for squared, which looks like an X and then a squared. There might be a cubed button with X and a cubed, or there'll be an X with a blank. So you can put any power into that box. So let's have a look at answering these questions. So we've got 2.6 squared. So we just write 2.6, then the squared button, press equals. So it's 169 over 25, or is a decimal 6.76. For the second one, we've got 1.9 cubed. So we can either use a cubed button to write 1.9 cubed, or we can write 1.9 and then use that any power button and write the three in ourselves. So 1.9 cubed as a decimal is 6.859. And for the next one, we've got 0 0.9 squared plus 1.2 squared. So 0 0.9 squared, then the plus button, 1.2 squared, press equals, but 9 over 4 or 2.25. Okay, three of these for you, so give them a go now. The first one, we've got 6.5 squared, which is a decimal, is 42.25. 1.2 cubed. 1.728. And 1.5 squared plus 3.6 squared which is 15.21. In these questions, we are going to be using our sin, cos, and tan buttons. So you should be able to find a button that says sin, one that says cos, and one that says tan on the calculator. I'm not going to go into what they mean, what they do in detail. What I will just say is they are to do with the lengths of a right angled triangle. So if this was 35 degrees, sim 35 would tell us what this length divided by this length is equal to. But you don't have to worry about what it means just now. All you need to know is that they will go with an angle. So sin, cos, and tan will go with an angle, and that's all you need to know to type them into the calculator. So for this first question, sim 35. So in the calculator, press the sin button, and it opens a bracket. Inside the bracket, that's where the angle goes. So 35, and then close the bracket, so we've got sin 35, press equals, and we've got, write down all the numbers on the display. So 0 0.57357, and so on. The second one, cos 40. So the cos 40 degrees, so this time it says degrees, but that doesn't make any difference. So the first one was 35 degrees, there was just no degree sign. This time it's 40 degrees. We don't type the degree sign into the calculator, 
So it's cos 40. And that's 0 0.76, 604, and so on. And the last one says tan 50. Again, degrees. We're not typing the degrees symbol into the calculator. So tan 50 and then plus 10. So what we've got to make sure we do is tan 50. That's the angle. 50 is the angle. So that goes in the brackets. We close the brackets before we plus 10. So that's 11.19175 and so on. Okay, there are three for you to try here. So give these ones a go. Okay, so sin 54 is 0 0.8. Zero nine one six nine nine four four cos twenty seven again this time it says degrees, but we don't type the degree sign in. Anything inside the bracket will be our angle, so it's cos twenty seven, which is zero point eight nine one zero zero. 65242 and the last one we've got tan 45 plus tan 32 so it's tan 45 that's the angle so close the bracket plus tan 32 and close the second bracket so 1.624869352. Okay, last examples. So use your calculator to work out the value of. These look complicated but it's just a case of writing it in the calculator exactly how it looks. So for the first one, it's all in the square root. So we press the square root first, and we've got a fraction, so then the fraction button. On the top line, we want 55.3, take away 1.25, then click down to the bottom line, we've got 4.65, plus 8.1 so we'll write down all the numbers so 2.0589355571 for the second one again we've got a fraction and this time we're going to press the fraction button first On the top line, we've got 30.2 minus the square root, so square root button, 21.8. Now we want to click to the bottom line, so cross then down, 1.4 squared. So 1.4, then the squared button. So it looks exactly, the question looks the same as the calculator display, and we just press equals. So 13.02599642. Okay, two for you to try. So give these ones a go now. For the first one, we want a square root over the whole of the fraction, then the fraction button. The top line is 35.7, and we've got take away 4.6, and then click to the bottom line where we've got 1.29 cubed. So check it looks the same as the question, 
press equals. So that's 3.806-235268. And the second one. So we got the fraction button first. The top line is 19.4. And then we want to click to get out of the square root. Don't keep going in the square root because that will square root the 3.2 plus 3.2 over 1.5 plus 0 0.98. So we've got, it displays a fraction at the moment. We want a decimal, so press the S to D button. So that's 3.0663480282. And to finish up, two questions. So pause the video, give them a go. The first one. So we've got the square root of 2.5 plus 3.7. The minus 5.79 is not in the square root. So we want to click out of the square root. So click to the right to get out of the square root and then minus 5.79. So we've got negative 3.0002008. Question two. So this time we've got a square root button first, then a fraction button on the top line, tan 70. So 70 goes inside brackets, that's the angle that goes with the tan, and then plus 1. On the bottom, tan 70 again, close the brackets again, and minus 1. So 1.46441350. 